Hi, everybody. Good evening. How are you? What's going on? Welcome to the Pick a Card. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. What's going on? Oh, let's go get Instagram, guys. Hang tight. Be right back. Burb, hold on. Check out the emails. Strong bag, check out the emails. Okay, cool. Hi, Instagram. Hold on, I want to look again. Cool, that's on. The tracking software's on. I love so far, guys. Full disclosure, two people have thumbs down the channel. And I have their files. One of them was really interesting. I had to turn one of them in. But so yeah, two two people have to go get new computers. I heard there's a sale at Best Buy though. Check it out. All right. And I'll share a couple of the other files. Maybe I'll put some motivational posts up later. <laughs> Stop it, Archer. All right. Welcome. Thank you guys for coming. Welcome to the Pick a Card Reading, where my decks pick you. I appreciate you for coming. Hi, Twitching J. Hey, Cappy. What up? Hi, Mama T. Oh, my goodness. We have had, we had such a fun weekend. Yeah. Yeah, Cappy. It happened. I got two reports. <laughs> what I got, I had to run out today and do a couple things because I had some, I had some interesting people attacking me. And um, so I went and took care of that with my chariot. I actually got, I got Mexican for lunch today and a smoothie, but yeah. Um, so when I got home and I got ready to do the pick card, I was already like, I was like, what is going on? Hi, Stacy. Hi, Julie. And, uh, I went down and checked and that was what it was. It was a couple of reports that some people have tried to be not so nice to the channel and that don't happen here. When you're with me, you are all to be definitely protected, which means I have to protect the channel. I have to protect this place that we're building for all of us. We're approaching 34,000 people. I'm not going to let something happen to you guys. I'm here. I do this for you guys. It means the world to me and all my friends do. If you're on my featured channels page, don't mess with those people, people, people. Okay. They're, 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 they're already in the chariot. They're with me. All right. So, oh my gosh, we have had an awesome time and there's a big week in store. I'm exhausted from it already, but I'm loving it. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for coming. How you doing? Um, yeah. If you haven't noticed, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be at the downtown tarot company in rochester to do a little astrology learning because you can never stop learning i love learning it's fun so i'll be there if you want to come and hang out bring 20 books and i'm not going on i'm not going on i'm coming to be in the audience like when the when the beatles went and saw Jimi hendrix do sergeant pepper but if you just want to come and hang out let's learn something all right and then um thursday of course is the live all signs and it's the mercury direct collab with chloe from sagittarius soul tarot so you're going to have a Cancer and a Sagittarius on the screen. It'll be fun. Um, we might go forever. I was at her live the other day and I brought it up and I was like, my mod squad is going to be really happy because like I usually always tell, especially like Cappy and Laura and Mama T, I'm like two hours, two hours tops. We'll be done. We'll be out of there. And they're like, yeah, sure, Archer, right? And she's like, but I might actually enjoy myself and then we'll start talking. So heads up, it might, it might be a Jerry Lewis telethon. We're going to have a good time and I am totally looking forward to it. And then also, we're going to give away the four prizes. We'll be selecting four people randomly. If you want to enter, there's still time to enter before we get everything locked down and ready for the uh, for the event. You can go over to the most recent All Signs, and you got to subscribe to the channel, of course. And then uh, down in the comments section over there on the All Signs, hashtag Archer Astrology, hashtag Your Sign, hashtag Kaylin Petty, hashtag whatever you want, and you're totally entered, okay? And um, yeah, it's going to be cool. And then Friday night, I'm taking the evening off. Okay, I got I got to run and check on one of my properties, so I won't be there. But if you go over and follow Caitlin over on her TikTok at Kate Petty, then you can check out her live from Nashville, and she gives an awesome performance. I went and checked it out myself. She did one last weekend, and I got I got the hat still. Ah, hello, I'm Archer Cash. So. So I, I had nothing going on. I was like, I wanted to go and see it in person. So I, I hopped in the chariot and rode down there. <laughs> and I, I called I called Mama T. And, and just to talk, I check in on her because we're like, oh, we got. Okay, my father transitioned. The grandparents are long gone. It's just the two of us. So I was like, she's like, well, what are you doing this week? And I said, I'm just, I, I'm just driving to Nashville. And I made it sound like I was just running to the corner store to grab a coffee. And she's like, why? And I'm like, do you really got to ask? So she's like, well, I like when she sings dreams. Can I come too? I was like, I will pick you up on the way. Yeah, that's all you usually have to do with me. I never question it. Hi, Fairy House Terrell. So we wound up cruising down there and checking her out. It was so cool. And I sat in TikTok doing all that and 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 like keeping everything going. And at the end, I was like, oh yeah, I'm Archer right away. She's like, oh my word. It was so cool. 
So if you're not in and around Nashville and you can't get to Ariat, which I actually bought some shirts that'll be I'll be, I'll be wearing them. Um, but if you can't get down there, just go follow her on TikTok. She's gonna broadcast it live, and it's a show that you will totally love. I sang along to every song. It was so fun. All right. So what else is going on? Sunday night. That's right. Sunday night, the first of the three new bass covers is going to premiere. All right. I got everything locked down, synced up. Hi, Nicolette. Thanks for coming. Um, hi, Carla. What up? You, oh, you like it? Cool. I'll keep it on again if y'all want. But um, so Sunday night's going to be the first of the three new bass covers. It's going to premiere too. So hang around for that one. Okay. Um, I think that covers everything. So the way this works, as we were talking about, this is where my decks pick you. Okay. So it's the typical standard pick a card protocol. Um, I don't use rocks because as you know, I'm the crystals. Okay. I got you covered. And so you get to pick from chariots. Yeah. All right. So what we have today, because the Beatles, they did it. I knew it. I knew it. Mama T and I had a bet going on. We put a dollar on it while we were driving back from Nashville. And I'm like, they're going to release the, they're going to release the Let It Be Movie. Actually, she said that part. We're going to release Let It Be Movie. I'm like, oh, you're probably right. So we put a dollar bet on it. So um, Paul and Ringo, you owe my mom a dollar. <laughs> it was the last thing she said when I dropped her off at home too. She goes, don't forget the bet. I'm like, oh, they're going to totally re-release Let It Be. But it's an awesome movie. I've seen some little bits and pieces of it. Okay. Okay. So what we do, since the Beatles are, are back again, you know, Paul called Ringo. was like, should we do something else? And Paul's like, why not? We got nothing else going on. Same type of a thing. So the Beatles deck is back. It's going to handle one of the jobs tonight. The Grand Theft Auto, my deck, Archer's deck, which I love. The Urban Tarot is handling the other duty. And the Titanic just couldn't stay down. <laughs> so it's like, can I come out again, please? I was going to do the Music Tarot, but I got the Beatles Tarot. So I was like, okay, fine. All right. So maybe we're going to go down and explore the Titanic again, too. All right. All meant to be for your highest and greatest good. And they are hooked up. Mandy, what up? Boop? How you doing? They are all hooked up. And you've got three chariots to choose from. You have my 3D real life energetical chariot, white Jeep. All right. Then you have the Night Industries 2000. Feeny! <laughs> That's hooked up right here to the Grand Theft Auto deck. I have a thing for T-tops. I've built three of these cars. They are really fun, actually. You take one of these cars through a drive through I used to do that with the one that I had last time. And I kid you not, you just pull up. And get your and when at the window every time they look down at the dashboard like whoa it's so cool and then we've got the batmobile i never had one of these but i've seen them in person they brought them all to detroit's autorama recently and i had to go i was there i had to check it out i have a habit of doing that i just show up places like hi <laughs> but yeah so and um all you got to do is the usual if you haven't done it already which you should have but that's cool we don't have rules here all right is pick a car all right and then we'll take it from there and go for it so you can pick from white jeep kit or the batmobile all right i would get hi ash oh my gosh good timing you have perfect timing i love it thank you so much for being here all right so i'll give you guys a moment all right i'm gonna just chill for a sec let's chill for a while and um go ahead and pick something pick something already mm -hmm. Are you some tick tock tick tock? Have you picked them? <laughs> okay, good. All right, so now what we're going to do is put a little archer spin on it. Because much like how Spirit likes to throw those little Wheel of Fortune moments at our way, that puts us back onto said divine guided path. You know, God's still the boss, no matter how many times we try to change that one. <laughs> is um, we're going to insert archer's solo cup tower moments into the situation and see oh my word where'd they go bill hold on he is bill's hold on bill is still grumpy because i made him wait in the jeep i wasn't going to sit there in a store for two hours with a guitar like and so he's still a little cranky but he'll be fine he's got him here we go all right i'm watching you left-handed base my foot He's also upset because Winston's hanging out. But Winston's hanging out, so tough luck. <laughs> Hi, Virgilicious. What up? Thank you for coming. All right, so let's do it to it. We are going to insert said Tower Card Solo Cup moments into the situation and see if we're still on the proper, divinely guided path. Ma'am, let's go. <laughs> no peeking. 
It's not allowed. Be like me. Wait till the very end and be like, hi. Mm -hmm. You guys are actually behaving really well. I'm proud of you guys. Oh, we're getting vicious. You hear it's like nailed on a chalkboard. That's enough. We're good. Okay. When my intuition says stop, I stop. All right. Let's see if we are still on our said guided energetical paths. Why don't you warn me about that? I should know about it. I mean, I started the whole life as a moderator. I still have my wrench. When I say OG Mod Squad, I mean it. Anyways, hi Mod Squad. Love the like for the Mod Squad. And by the way, you all are Mod Squad tonight. Feel free to leave in the comment section afterwards. If you want to timestamp where these things fall, decks one, two, or three, do you. I don't mind a bit. If you want to hashtag the little each Easter egg moments where I get totally silly, you can do that. Hashtag whatever you want. Leave timestamps. You all are honorary mod squads tonight. Y'all got the rich. All right. Hey, Jason. How you doing? All right. So let's do it to it. Apparently, we're going to begin with the Batmobile because it was brought over to the Beetle deck. And that's where I wanted to start tonight. I was told to start with the Beatles. Paul, I will accept a complimentary copy of... Um, I'll accept a complimentary copy of the, the Let It Be movie. <laughs> Ringo, we're birthday twins. Come on. Peace and love, man. July 7th. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's start with the Batmobile and the Beatles Tarot. You ready? Let's do it to it. Of course, highest and greatest good, et cetera, and so on and so forth. I'll offer eligible in Alaska, Hawaii, and all around the continental for the United States. Um, if a sentence persists, come back for more happiness. Okay? Let's make it crowded. Love the like, subscribe, share the channel and the video. Help us to grow. Let's get crowded here. Let's do it. Hi, Batmobile. Thank you very much for coming and being here. Hey, Carla. Thank you for coming, too. Hey, Maria. What's up? What up? How are you? All right. Let's do it to it. For the Fab Four, we're going to have a really big shoe. We're going to have a really big shoe tonight. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, we got two Beatle birthday twins. We got a John Lennon birthday twin. He's October 9th. And we got a Ringo birthday twin. Okay. I'm all about that base. Bill, I'm watching you. All right. The Batmobile is set up and lined up to the Beatles Tarot. Let's see what is up and in charge. If you pick the Batmobile, we are going to find out what is their story. This is what I was trained to do. We are going to go OG Snoop Dogg all the way deep on this one. Find out what is up with them, okay? You know what you're up to, so let's just go right over to their side. The Devil card comes out right out of the gate as we're getting started with the Hermit card. So if you picked the Batmobile and were guided to the Beatles deck, you're dealing with somebody who is kind of quiet, okay? Or they have this, this energy of the really kind of, maybe they obsess a little bit, but in a positive mindset, about every little thing they do every action maybe they judge themselves a lot okay so let's go for it all right for the batmobile what do we have what is up with them what is their story what are they doing why do they keep doing this to batman i'm batman no i'm archer <laughs> i'm actually jan's hugglebuck tonight just filling in for archer he wanted to stay in nashville so he sent me in to cover for him he's still down there <laughs> he's like i'm not going back all right let's see two shuffles you ready what's up with them here we go all right we're ready let's do it one and two let's love this deck for the batmobile here we go bottom of the deck is the six of cups george harrison and ravi shankar which was a really neat concert i i have it of course mm -hmm. I've got all the blueprints on the Titanic, and I've got, like, everything the Beatles have put out. Usually in two or three times, because they keep re-releasing stuff. Marketing geniuses. Six of Cups. There is a deep connection here that they're awoke to with you that might even have them a little scared or a little nervous, where they're doing a lot of internal reflections on that Hermit card to the Devil card that decided to pop out a little bit. With the Ace of Swords, John Lennon in his own right. I have that book. It's a really good read. If you read John Lennon's A Spaniard in the Works and that... There are actually some really neat books of John's poetry. He was a poet, totally. All right, his words meant stuff. So we've got the Ace of Swords to the Six of Cups on the Fool card. So they're seeing something new and different with you that they want to do, but they're really nervous or guarded. It's almost like they're like, whoa, there's something deep between me and Batman. 
All right, so they got to work through it to see what's up. They're literally judging every single John. John's got a wrench. John's it was John the original mod squad. <laughs> That's not a wrench. <laughs> That's a wrench. Whoa. It's back at your reading. Okay. See, you got to have a little fun because the energies right now are crazy, are they not? We're in that eye of the storm between the eclipses that everybody was talking about. Oh my gosh, eclipse is happening. Wasn't an apocalypse, just an eclipse. And then we're, we got a birth of a new star coming up on April 20th, 21st. Heads up in the sky around around Libra and, and, the, and the panhandle on the, on the Little Dipper. That's epic before we go into tourist season and stuff. Yeah, so there is a lot happening up there in the skies. This here shows that something about that is awakening this person to like, oh my gosh, there might be more here. Am I ready for this? So I'm playing it might be somebody new. I'm seeing you guys have done this before. Ravi Shankar and George Harrison show up. And he was a, sept no, September, what? He was a February 25th Pisces, okay? So some Pisces energy could be an influence on this, along with a little Libra, John, all right? But that Fool card shows it's wanting to take a chance. And, and actually, it's a little young and foolish because you notice how this, this dude, this is, I forget, what was his name in that movie, How I Won the War? It's something different. Like, when the Beatles took a little break after they finished touring live and they were just kind of tired, um, John went off to Amarillo, Spain, and he filmed How I Won the War. It's just a fun little war parody movie, all right? So it's it's like they're realizing there's something different to this connection than what they're used to in the past. Might have them a little nervous, so we're going to find out. Let's do it. We're going to do the standard seven cards. Just roll it out. Two of Wands. The Ten of Swords. The three of wands, the whoa, the three of swords. Oh my word. Five of cups, nine of swords. Wow. Okay, we got a lot of air showing up. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but the eight of wands at the end. Sagittarius and Ringo's back. Communication coming in. But check this out with the two of wands right here on this one. So this I'm kind of seeing. This is Ringo having to wait his turn to lay down his drum tracks. Because he, like, when they were doing all the overdubs and the remixes, I mean, this wasn't just digital energy back then. They had to do all this stuff on reel-to-reels, okay? So they would do one track, overdub it with another track. And they had four-track machines back then. That was it, four tracks, okay? And so then they would, they, they were the ones that were always pushing George Martin and the producers. So like, well, what else can we do? What else can we do? And they would take those three tracks, dump them into the fourth track, do three more tracks, dump those onto the other track, and just keep piling it up, Okay. But with this here, this Ten of Swords shows that they are actually working on some energetical reset of their own with the Three of Wands. They're deeper into this connection than you might realize. That's the Beatles at one of their last performances, looking towards the crowd. It's like an aerial view of what's going on, the energetical flow and the energies that are kept around. So even when the Beatles were on stage, they don't go on for 20 minutes. And, and then it was 20 and unplug, head out there, because the energies have become so overwhelming, okay? And with this Three of Swords, I'm seeing that they had been through some stuff before you guys met. So, I mean, if it's not new and the one in your mind that led you to this deck is somebody coming back around, they're actually doing the work to change. Props to them. That's cool. All right. This here is, is overcoming those odds. See John with his Aunt Mimi and his mom, Julia, and everything on this card. That's a lot of that stuff that went through. If you, I'm, I'm, We're not going to bring it here, but what John and his mother went through was, was deep. All right. So, with that Three of Swords coming into this one, like maybe in the past they were they were always shut down and fought out. You know, this is kind of the card of like, well, you're obviously seeking attention. What do you want? Nobody ever made time or attention for them on this one here. And then they met you, Batmobile. We'll just call it Batmobile to keep things cool. And it was different. This here is like honorable mentions to Aunt Mimi, but she was the one that looked at John and said, well, a guitar is fun, but she'll never make a living from it. And John's like, <laughs> hold my pick, you know? <laughs> and on his five of cups, that's why they get feeling overwhelmed. Like I'm seeing somebody that sends a text message or goes to send a text message and then they withdraw it. They pull it away because they get overwhelmed, okay? With his nine of swords, they get up in their fields, up all night, playing, staring at the ceiling on repeat, looking for the champagne, the pink, all of it, right? But it eludes them. So this is somebody, strong Virgo energy off that hermit card that really overanalyzes themselves. Instead of just being cool, going with the flow, they, they got another way to look at it. Look at all the arms the Statue of Liberty has. This is sometime in New York City. It's one of John's albums from the solo career. <laughs> and I just saw the the, 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 the the Mike Douglas show, I think it was, where John and Yoko went, I love you, Yoko. I'm not, I'm not playing. If John loved you, I loved you. That's all there is to it, flat out, okay? But <laughs> they went on the stage and Yoko went on too. And they went around with Chuck Berry and they're doing Johnny Be Good. And, and I think Johnny Be Good. 
And Yoko decides to throw in a vocal track and everybody's like, whoa, but John loved her. He didn't notice. Okay. This is that energy of just like everybody kind of gets in their feels, gets in their heads on this. So they reach out and send a message, right? The communication lines open up a bit and then they, they, they stop because they remember all of a sudden something locks into their past. They try to send something really nice, really cool to a wands. They make that choice. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it. And as soon as they push send, they hear somebody from their past. They could still be dealing with a lot of that. Maybe they came from a broken home or like they, like a single parent home where, where one had, had, or had left or moved on their way. All right. And so they try to stay cool, calm and collected three of wands, strong Aries energy could be dealing with an Aries, but then they get into their head a bit because something from the past comes back in something that shut them down, locked them out in the cold with the five of cups. And they're like, oh my gosh, I totally like, I'm kind of in my feels Scorpio energy a little bit for the Batman. For the Batmobile. So I don't want to take this too far and like and like scare Batman away. Okay. With that five of cups to the nine of swords. See how George is just hanging out by himself in his backyard with the land gnomes and stuff. So that shows that they get quiet. They they isolate almost and shut down where they will they'll retract it or they'll edit it. Are you one of those ones that like you like they send them the like they send a message and then it shows it's edited and you're like, oh what 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 did the original say? Or, or they retract it completely altogether. It's not from a bad place. Eight of Wands. Like, Ringo is not a bad person. Like, have you ever seen him upset? Except the one time where he's like, no fan mail, no fan mail. But if you saw how much fan mail those boys got, oh my word. And they responded and answered them all. But anyways, this shows that every time they take that chance, something does creep back up in that they're working on. With the Three of Swords, where, where somebody in the past before you had shut them down. And then they, they like, they got some feelings for you and they just don't want it. Six of cups. And they just don't want it to, they don't want to derail it. It's literally what I'm hearing. Okay. That 10 of swords is, is, is the catcher in the rye. Definitely some books coming out on this one too. The pony must die. It's so the catcher in the rye. But yeah, three of pentacles. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Three, three, and three. Angel number 333. Three, three. Goat handles my angel numbers. You could actually be in a point of that. The angel number 333 three, three shows a lot of that energy of a positive forward momentum and direction where spiritual guidance is coming in. You got above three of pentacles is helping put this together. That's the back to the egg album right there. Paul, Linda, and Danny Lane look down on the world. Okay. Something about July 20th might resonate, which was the moon landing. Thanks, Stanley Kubrick. Anyways. So yeah, three of pentacles, three of cups. You or them could be born on the third, possibly the 23rd as well. The fifth comes out. Thank you. The emperor strong Aries energy shows up. The power tower shows up here and showing that reflection back. The Beatles at the EMI studios from the cover of the please, please me album to the cover of the get back album. It was actually originally called get back. Okay. But yeah, emperor Aries energy, they boss up, they get brave for a moment. And then they're like, Oh my word, the ace of swords is back. I don't want to, I don't want to mess this up with Batman. I don't want to mess up the Batmobile. It could be the tail fence. Okay. Something about the tail fence, but yeah, so they will actually retract the whole thing to take the pressure off of you. They're so used to having to take all the pressure on themselves, three of swords, to have to, to do it on their own with nobody around, that they're like, I don't want to mess this up. They know like that one word, hey, Ed, what up, Eddie, bro? They know that words can be said and used against them. Nine of wands to the page of pentacles on the magician. They are working really hard. Oh, my goodness. Do you mean a lot to them? With that eight of wands on the nine of wands. Maybe September 8th or August 9th resonates somehow to you. But this is showing here with the magician. They are doing a lot of internal work, especially during Mercury retrograde. The, the Virgo energy, the Gemini energy, George Martin showing up. And I did I not leave this off with how they had to mix on a four-track machine to make, I mean, songs like Strawberry Fields Forever, A Day in the Life. These were done on four-track recorders, okay? But with this stuff here, it's that ability to overdub and to adapt to the situation to bring more harmony to come out on the energies for this one. They just don't want to mess up with you. Nine of Wands. Ringo's, I think this was what? Good Night Vienna? I forget. But anyways, this, oh, that's the song, I'm the Greatest. That ability to like, maybe they're, maybe they're like your biggest supporter. And they always try to find the best way to be positive regardless of what's on in their side. They would go to the ends of the earth for you type of a thing. But they don't want to be too overwhelming because in the past they've dealt with just the players. They've dealt with straight up users and the ones that have taken them for the granted on this, you know, used them up until there was nothing left. Ten of swords, Gemini energy, and they don't want to repeat the habits. So they're working to overcome those because you actually do mean a lot to them. So maybe they just get quiet, closed off or guarded because they're they're like afraid that their words are a weapon and it might it might hurt something. Three of them could be born on the sixth or the 11th. I'm seeing as well, too. It's it's working to build the confidence because they see you as a powerhouse, almost like can I compete? 
Eight of Pentacles. Told you. Thank you. Appreciate you, God. With the Page of Pentacles. Ringo, put that away. We're going to leave that right there. Page of Pentacles. Nope, that's the Page of Wands, Archer. Pay attention. I know. It says sticks. I'm getting lost. I actually enjoy drums. I love playing drums. Anyways, Eight of Pentacles. Grabbing onto that Ram. The Aries Energy. The Ram album. So that is taking, in a way, the Ram by the horn, so to speak. Because they're always there. They want to be there for you, but they get very nervous because I'm seeing that you come off with a very innocent energy, the Page of Pentacles. This is literally, re I'm, 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 let's just say Ringo's pointing at his head because that picture, I know what that picture is from because I recognize the blue shirt. It's off. It's, it's part of the help photo sessions, but I digress, okay? So this is analyzing. They overanalyze because you mean a lot to them, okay? There's something there where they love to be there and be your support, but every so often they might feel like they get a little too emotional and they hear something from their past. It's like, whoa, you stop it. And they have to analyze every text before they send it or think it or messages or DMs. Maybe you guys speak to each other through reels or through something because they see that you guys work well together. And this is overcoming a lot of the energy that today is commonly known as imposter syndrome. I'm not a fan of that word. I don't like that word, but I work with it because it's a word. So you can't just sit there and go, oh, I don't want to talk about that. It's out in the ethers. Let's talk about it. It's not so much the imposter syndrome because everybody wondered that. You know how many times Paul got asked if the Beatles were going to get back together? And he's like, I'm here to talk about my album. I, I actually recorded music, you know, with my wife, Linda, did some stuff. But then everybody was asking that. And he would just be quietly, no, no, no. That sort of an energy. It's the ability to work through that with the Page of Pentacles. They've had to do so much of the own analyzing, but they see you as the powerhouse they want to work with. The moon card, told you, comes out right here. You could have a moon placement possibly in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm also seeing Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius on this as well, okay? But that moon card, Pisces energy, the full moon approaching in Scorpio, they're probably already feeling it a little bit. Could be a water sign or a Cancer. This is Cancer and Pisces energy. I mean, Pisces is the tarot card world, but Cancer's dominant rock is the moon. But they're working to transmute and overcome that. The same stereotype, okay? As If somebody looks at you and they're like, oh, imposter syndrome, it's inspiration. They need to get the words right type of a thing. Because, example, yesterday, it's the most covered song of all time. All right? 2,200 covers of that song exist. And are they all playing a left-handed bass, wearing a collarless suit while they do it? No. It's that inspiration. Everybody has painted that rose, Bob Ross. Everybody has made that clay bowl. But it's the inspiration that you inspire them to do it in their own energies, in their own right. You know? And Paul McCartney, he doesn't mind how many people cover yesterday because he adores that inspiration that you see from each other because they see that you guys work well together and they just want to be there for you, okay? With the moon card. Those are the pictures from the Let It Be album cover too. All those things going around social media that had those four white blank spots. There's the photos, guys. <laughs> but yeah, hi, Infinite. Thanks for coming. That Eight of Wands shows that they are actually leveling up and wanting to communicate more. They don't want to put the pressure on you with the Nine of Wands. They're guarded. They're protecting the energies because they don't want to ruin the connection. Literally. Okay? Page of Wands. To the Knight of Pentacles on the Nine of Cups. That's an awesome one to say together. George with his guitar collection because he doesn't want to lose those guitars. He holds those near and dear to him along with the Knight of Pentacles. Taking slow and forever like trying to figure out where Paul's pit guard went on his Hofner. Mm-hmm. Bill won't let me take his off. But anyways, it's trying to keep that that intact connection between the two of you guys because they see you as a powerhouse. Even if it takes it a while to come around, there's the Fool card. Something new where they can feel less guarded. It's it's that ability to, to rise through those energies and fight through the past. They love being there for you. They love supporting you. They just don't want to overwhelm you. So they might actually go ahead and edit the message or pull the message away because they're like, oh my goodness, I went too far. Batmobile is going to be like overwhelmed and be like, whoa, slow your roll, boy, a little bit. Knight of Pentacles, would you please? Sort of type of a thing. But give me a card net. Do you mind? Do you mind, Batmobile? Does, does Do you mind? Let's see. I know it's their energy, but I want to know. The Three of Cups. You don't mind. Oh, and all four threes showed up. All the threes in tarot came out with the, oh, oh my word, with the Ten of Cups underneath it. Tea time. Oh, we are indeed. We are indeed spilling some tea all over. You are teeing all over my table, Batmobile. The Three of Cups. You actually kind of like it. It's kind of like, well, yeah, Archer, who wouldn't? I've been through a lot of stuff too. And like the Three of Cups is George and Eric Clapton. He was an honorary Beeble for a while. You know, one of the Beatles talking about the greatest muse in the pop music culture industry of all time, Patty Boyd. All right. She's the one who something was wrote about. So what I'm seeing here is that you actually it makes you feel good. Like maybe you haven't had a lot of people. You've had to do a lot of stuff on your own. 
and had to get into that strong independent energy that they love about you all right but with the ten of cups to the page of swords oh you you look forward to it with the high priestess archer hush no no we're gonna keep going the six of cups is back yup so you dig it you just get busy sometimes you're like you're you're always on the go can't say no and you see them you like them and love them so while they're sitting there being like oh my goodness look what happened you know and 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 trying to withdraw and feel quiet they're just trying to protect you because they don't want to overwhelm you but you're sitting there going it makes me smile archer it actually kind of i kind of like it i'm cool with it all right so you're willing to work on this one with them maybe even on the retraction and you might feel like you did something like what did i do and it's not that they get in their own head because they get a little nervous about proceeding high priestess energy i know your person right now is looking at me going archer archer and i'm like sorry that's what i was trying to do with that high priestess Brian Epstein, sitting behind the Beatles amp, the one that puts all the pieces together, makes it happen. So this is like the promoters and this act and everything coming together under one energy. So they might just shut down so that they don't hurt. They Like they're, they, give me something on that. I was, no one, no, it's High Priestess. Hush your mouth. <laughs> Let's go. This is what I'm doing. All right. Up, oh, I didn't see a High Priestess. What do you mean? Sorry, you have to, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I don't have my glasses on. I didn't see it. <laughs> The Knight of Wands to Temperance and the World card. Oh my goodness. Batmobile, they adore you. Look at this. Sergeant Pepper shows up. The Beatles, Temperance, that balance, that stability. They see you as this, this wealth of knowledge, this wealth of positivity that just makes them smile. Knight of Wands makes them feel younger, youthful. You have an innocence about you that they adore, that they just don't want to hurt. They almost feel like they're hurting you. Look, it's Ringo from Yellow Submarine. And we will march to three of the day. Anyways, but yeah, Yellow Submarine showing up. And it's kind of like Ringo being like, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you all about them. And everybody's like, okay, yeah. But first you got to do the song about the octopus. <laughs> With the world's card, they see you as this, as this youthful, awesome energy. Very artistic, very exciting. And it's almost like part of them doesn't want to hurt it because they're like, whoa, I'm not good enough for Batmobile. But you don't mind it. You're three of cups and you're kind of amused to them. OK, maybe you're like their Patty Boyd in a way or something. OK, and they just don't want to they just don't want to oop, oops all over it. You know what I mean? I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> Four of wands. That's the connection that you OK, Batmobile, you make them feel safe, warm, comfortable. And it's something they're not used to feeling because so many people have treated them so bad in the past. It's part of that deep soulmate twin flame connection that shows up. Box and the Hound, Lennon McCartney, any way you take it to look at it, okay? So they're working on awakening to that deep soulmate twin flame connection, and they just want to get it right, and they don't want to They don't want to scare you. They just want to be there for you. It's that ability to make you feel safe, calm, protected, like a wish, and, and, and work through the energies of the past. But deep feelings for you. Oh, my goodness. Really? Really? Did, did, did somebody show up and touch this? I swear, you know, look, I'm not even going to touch this. <laughs> Can't touch this. MC Hammer time. The next card out was the Six of Cups. Literally, we shuffle around and the Four of Wands to the Six of Cups were sitting right next to each other. The deep soulmate twin flame connection that you guys just work out and get to your ten. Six plus four equaling ten on this one. Okay, so they do have feelings for you, but they are just very nervous and like they don't want to hurt you. Literally, they don't want to overwhelm you. All right. But, but I, I'm totally calling them out on it. They're in their feels. They got a little feels for you, okay? So I hope that helps, Batmobile. Thank you very much for being here. And you got an awesome dashboard, too. I mean, I know I'm partial to Kit, personally. I love that dashboard. The flashy, blinky lights make me happy. But yeah, all right? <laughs> so, awesome. Oh, by the way, could be dealing with an Aries, definitely. Scorpio showed up as well. Pisces and Cancer here. Cancer, big time. There's a little bit of Leo. There's a little bit of Pisces, Page of Pentacles. There is strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in this reading all over the place with the air signs. Air and fire coming in with some water all right so i hope that helps love you please love the like share the channel share the video and look like for my mod squad say hi to them they're down there in the chat right now all right cool next up we're gonna do the white jeep i this deck i love this deck. this is so cool okay all right next up we're gonna do the white jeep here we go you ready i'm not it's just tea, I promise. Or do I? Whoa. Okay, White Chief, the Ace of Wands is already hanging out down here. Anyways, yeah. Let's see what's going on here. 
Because when I set up, I, I finish my personal readings, I finish the daily readings and everything. I reset the cards, reset the energy, clear the table, wash my hands of it, walk away. The Grand Theft Auto deck's got the Ace of Wands hanging out at the bottom. So there's some there's something here. All right, let's see what's going on. Hi, White Chief. Thank you very much for being here and being a part of this. I love and appreciate you for it. Love the like, share the channel. And also, don't forget, the contest for April is still on. Head on over and check out the most recent All Signs to enter. There's still a little bit of time left. And Thursday night, I will be going live. All the details are at the beginning of this video, okay? All right, let's do it to it. White Chief, what do you have for you and the one on your mind? All the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions. Howdy, White Chief. Okay, let's go. He's just whistling. All right, we're ready. Let's do it. Two shuffles, White Chief. Here we go. One and two. Let's love this deck for the White Chief. It's it's the Freedom Panels, T-Tops, something like that. Anyways, <laughs> let's go. Oh, my word, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so you guys work well together, and they totally see that, and they've done a lot of work on themselves, too. The Eight of Pentacles, literally, we're bringing back up the imposter syndrome. Apparently, that's the pop culture phrase at the moment. There's inspiration between the two of you guys that has them doing all that fine work. Do you know how long it takes right now to get a timepiece? I was looking into ordering a new one, and there's like a two-year wait. I'm like, well, by then, the clock will have ran out, literally, you know? But yeah, this has been a lot of work. Maybe you guys have worked on this for a while. Like it's been two years of silence or, or, or a deep time that you guys have had time to reflect on this one, okay? But they haven't forgotten about you. They're MacGyvering the situation. All those little fine intricate parts like a Swiss watch that have to go in there to make all the gears and everything work on this one. To the Nine of Wands, to the Two of Wands, to the Sun card. There's Leo energy showing up. Literally the center of the universe as it goes forward to the Two of Wands. So they do choose you, but they're totally checking you out. Page of Swords. Hardison from Leverage shows up. Maybe it's about the orange soda. Something like that. I'm seeing somebody drink an orange pop. I, I, I'm from Michigan. It's pop. But I'm in Nashville energy, so it's soda. Okay, ma'am? Let's go. Give me seven cards. The hangman to the eight of wands to the strength card. Whoa, there is Leo all over this reading. <laughs> okay. Ten of swords to the six of wands to the page of wands. Leo, Leo, Leo. Really? On the nine of swords. Whoa. There is a victory here. They see you as everything. Six of wands. That's Caitlin Petty showing up to the Country Music Awards and like knocking Lainey Wilson off the stage and being like, I win. <laughs> and with the Nine of Swords, they they can't stop thinking about you. All right. This is up all night, playing staring at the ceiling on repeat. You know how we roll here, right? It's like it's like with this Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. It's it's like Taylor Swift. Whenever she hears, whenever she streams, staring at the ceiling, she sheds a tear on her guitar because she didn't write it. And she's like, I should have wrote that. <laughs> so they see you as a powerhouse. Maybe even a little bit of that energy of like, whoa, maybe I can't do what they do. That Ten of Swords shows they are up in their feels a lot about this, but working to overcome it. Okay. On that page of wands, there is passion between the two of you guys. This is this is like I'm seeing a shot of fireball whiskey. So there could be a little bit of liquid encouragement involved or something like that with the hangman, Pisces energy. Maybe you kind of stopped them or shut them down, put them in their place about like, whoa, there could have been a little bit of that involved. You know, somebody was going out a little bit too much on the Friday night type of energy. And you're kind of just like Leo energy. You're like, we don't need to do that every night. Can we just stay home and watch a movie or something? And they come in late night or you get those text messages at 3 a.m. No caller ID on the phone. Like, hey, what's up? What you doing? And you're like, I'm sleeping. <laughs> right um you or them could be born on the 10th or the 6th i'm also seeing the 8th the 21st the 6th and the 12th comes out so far could be a life path number nine or a six as well too all right so they had a lot of work to overcome with that wheel of fortune i, I kind of heard hit the road jack shows up where you kind of had to put them in their place put them in check because they never could quite hit the nail on the head right it's always missing that by a mark but the passion for you is still there ten of swords gemini energy they 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 talk about you more than you know. And that page of swords we saw, whoa. Did you see that card just flip right there? It's a page of cups. You're the one doing this. You're resting, okay. To the hermit card, to the high priestess. This might connect back over to the beetle deck because a lot of similar energy is showing up. Virgo energy to the hush your mouth. Could be any sign. 
it's in the context of how it's said. This is like a message that went through just a little bit too late or like it, whatever this was, it all started with like somebody was up in their fields, nine of swords, somebody else was 10 swords. And like when you just reached out for a little comfort and caring, like, Hey, I, I just, I just, I just need a bath. I just need an Epsom salt bath to relax. And, and just like, this is showing like the feral kitty energy, right? That like, like you, you sent a message to them and they lashed out at you and you're like, Whoa, what did I do? What did I do? Hey, I'm having some stuff going on too. You know, with that energy, it's, it's when a cat is guarded, it's that feral cat that like you go and you, you, you try to help it. You try to give it a little piece of chocolate and it's just like, no, nope, not doing it. No, thank you. That sort of thing. I said, no, thank you. No, thank you. But as you go to it, it takes a cat a lot. But when a cat rolls over and shows you its belly for you to scratch the belly, that's because they're, they're comfortable. They want to be vulnerable with you. Um, white Jeep, you let your vulnerability down. Pisces energy. And you, you got kind of met with something a little different. This hermit looks like he's up to no good, but working to overcome it, right? With that page of cups, you sat back like, yeah. And you had to stop Ten of Swords because it hurt. You had to put the connection on hold. Yellow and blue, green, make seal it. High priestess energy to have some time to get calm, to reflect. So you do see them as a powerful energy. You still think about them too. On the Six of Wands to the Nine of Swords. Jupiter and Leo energy along with straight up Gemini. And the Beatles Butcher album cover comes out. You've got a rare gem you're dealing with or they're seeing you that way. Roles could be reversed. Remember that. But it's that energy that like you have the Beatles yesterday and today album cover with Paul sitting in the trunk. And um, underneath that, if you peel the late, the sticker off, there's a totally different album cover that's worth a lot of money underneath there, right? Don't go starting ripping up your Beatle records. But still, with that page of wands, that's that ability to overcome that. Hey, JJ, how you doing? And to work through it and get and rise above it, okay? There's a lot of passion between the two of you guys that kind of came out like a fire-breathing dragon. I got to remember to put the Sharpie swimmer on her. Maybe you like dancing or you guys had a spell where you went dancing or just something where you get a little more deeper, a little more into it and have some energy on this one. But then that nine of swords to the 10 of swords, you guys hit at the exact same moment where they felt like you were, you were sliding them. They felt like they, they were sliding you, but they tried to overrun it and trump you. And then you just laid down a law on them. Right. But you guys still think about each other and wanting to come back together on this with the two of pentacles to find that balance. You're looking good. You're keeping yourself in order and check though. All right, you're going to be born on the 8th, 19th, the 6th comes out, also the 10th. Give me a little bit more on that. Let's see what's going on. What are the, what their reasoning is behind all of this? Queen of Wands to the 5 of Pentacles to the 10 of Pentacles on the Queen. Oh my word, the Queen of England shows up. And the Queen of England, the Queen of Pentacles is who sits at the 10 of Pentacles table. So they're seeing on this Queen of Wands, heavy Leo on this reading, that they, that there is the working, uh, you guys both kind of do want to see this end coming out of the cold, do a lot of reflection back to make something work out on this one here. They don't want to let you go. And they're almost just like at the point where they might feel like, they, like their words were a weapon and were like used kind of wrong. They get tempted to reach out, but the five of pentacles, they stop and like, oh, I don't know if I should. This might not work anymore. They don't want to talk to me. It's fine. Sort of an energy white jeep. But this is cool. This is the Queen of England on here. Maybe you and them had a 10-year business plan or something that you guys worked together. You had a connection or you met at work type of a thing. Then you have that awkward moment. I think this came out in Scorpio reading too. Where like, or Libra possibly. Where like, like you guys go through a little something and then you got to like keep your head down. And then they walk past awkwardly. Hi, Simley. Thanks for coming. How you doing? And it makes things a little weird or awkward. But you both, you guys actually both do want to talk because the Queen looks happy. It was like that one time I channeled the Queen of England to talk to her. Somebody, somebody's grandma's talking to me right now too. Hold on, I'm talking. Who here has a grandmother that overtalked everybody in the room all the time? <laughs> She's here. Anyways, so, and one of the first things I did the channel was I asked the Queen of England, I was like, I have a very near and dear friend to me that needs to know if there's sporks in England. Can you help me out? And she's like, really? That's all? You don't want to know about Kate or Charles? There's going to be some interesting things coming up in a few years for Kate and Charles and them. And I'm like, nah, they're fine. They're, they're, they're good. They're doing what they want to do. I need to know about sporks now. Okay, well, very well then, you know, I'm a cancer energy, but yeah, so she's like, I'll send you the answer promptly. Thank you very much. It's that little wave. Something about a wave that just gets things going. Well, a few days later, somebody showed up and was like, yep, we got sports in England. I'm like, gracias. Thank you. So it's that one little puzzle piece that clicks to allow communication to start. Maybe your birthday's coming up soon or something where they will have a reason to reach out or you will. This is a two way energy on this one. Eight, nine, ten swords shows up. Okay. 
five of cups to the page of wands on the four of cups. Oh, I get it. You both checking each other out. Cancer energy on Scorpio energy too. That five of cups shows what you guys went through. Now, granted, I'm not saying right out of the gate that I saw somebody throwing dishes and plates. Okay, let's behave ourselves now. It's not that bad. Okay, with that four of cups, it's that it's crying over spilled milk. Don't forget the cookies and milk, right? <laughs> it's it's kind of like having mama tea in the room. Oh, by the way, yes, what you guys figured out at the beginning, I'll get back to your reading in a moment, white chief. Yes, yes, everybody in the chat. Caitlin Petty has seen and met Mama T. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Caitlin's got one up there. But we'll work something out. <laughs> we'll work something out. Everybody's like, what? Yep, Caitlin met Mama T. I know. Mm-hmm. All right, five of cups to the four of cups. That's why Jeep was just like, I want to meet Mama T. She's like the Yoda of the channel. <laughs> but this is overcoming that energy to bring it all back around and, and work some stuff out because you guys both want this to work. You or them could be born on the 4th or the 5th, possibly, too. I'm seeing the 12th and the 3rd comes out with the Three of Swords to the Tower. I love that. I, I just told. What do you think? Do you think... Do you want me to make my channel think that I drove you down there and it was like, you wait in the Jeep with Bill? <laughs> I, I'm a Cancer. We love our mamas. <laughs> Anyhow, Three of Swords. Look what they're doing. They're overcoming it. I love this Three of Swords because this shows... The blood being washed off the swords, the cuts are healing, and those three swords are ready to be hung up on the wall so you guys can go forward, reflect in, on the past, but learn from it to rise Scorpio energy like a phoenix out of the ashes for this new beginning. Okay, so straight up, you both still have feelings for each other, okay? We're not going to call it out. I mean, you, but even though you're the one here watching a reading, which is cool, I appreciate you for it, but they still love you too. So you're quiet and like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Those feelings are still there and it can still be rekindled for a new start with the Nine of Cups to the Queen of Swords. All right. Whatever it is you guys do do for work together, it's something that manifests into a newer energy to overcome in a place of life right now where there's a shortage of love in the world. You guys are the ones that you, maybe I'm talking to two light workers, you and the one that I'm tapping into. It's maybe it's kind of like that. Queen of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles on the Seven of Swords. Both healing, Aquarius energy, and I love it. Aquarius is like an all science where they can, they can listen. Maybe you, White Jeep, maybe you've noticed like everywhere you go, it sounds like everybody around you is talking to you and you get a little overwhelmed and you're like, oh my goodness, I just need a minute to myself. This is crazy. Like everybody in the room is talking to me, sort of a thing. Seven of Swords to the Ten of Cups. Whoa, see? It gets you in your feels to be a rock star right there that you guys have gone through this. Up in your feels, Seven of Swords trying to keep it real, but you bring out the Ten of Cups. It's that love that you guys both still have for each other. And, and the ability to just kind of talk it out, work through it, and get past it. Get past all those things that went on in the past. Pisces energy, Aquarius energy, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and to rise above it. And to come together with the Five of Wands on the Knight of Cups. You guys do have a very unique connection indeed. There's a lot of love there too. And the Five of Wands shows the sports team working together. It's it's every part of the party. It's the offense, defense, hockey, goalie, first baseman, base coach. I'm not that great with sports, but I think that works, right? Isn't golf the one where you've got to put the ball in the basket? <laughs> I actually do golf. It's cool. So you guys have a unique little thing that always pulls you guys back together each time through it to kind of be like, just like, all right, cool. Let's just talk it out, work through it, and keep going forward. Because you guys have a dreamy connection between the two of you guys. The McDreamy McSteamy energy shows up as we come back around to the Six of Cups, to the Sun card on the Page of Swords. All right? Your them could be born on, I'm also, more dates popping out. Okay, somebody here really likes numbers or numerology, all right? October 8th shows up along with uh, July 10th, July 7th comes out. Also strong Scorpio energy. Leo's here, Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini. Literally like everybody's here. I kid you not, they're all showing up for you, white Jeep. It's a Jeep wave, totally. I get it. So you are, you're a rock star. That must be why everybody's here. Aries, Leo too, Aries too. Aries like, don't forget about me. I won't, but sit down, Aries. <laughs> I love Aries. I totally love Aries. Okay. Hope that helps White Jeep because you guys are both wanting to work this out. It's just the point of like, you guys are trying to out stubborn each other a little bit of like, well, I'm not going to apologize. Well, I'm not apologizing, you know, but in the end, in the high priestess energy, you both see a six of wands victory there. So I'm just going to call you both out on it because in the end, all you need is love. Okay. All right. Hope that helps White Jeep. Love you. Appreciate you. Love that like for me back too. All right. Next up, on deck. Uh-uh, Titanic's back. All right. If you pick the Night Industries 2000, K-I-T-T, Fine, it's <laughs> then you were energetically guided to the RMS Titanic. 
All right. One more fun fact, since the ship's gone for another year or two until it comes back around. Um, I actually, I had a comment on Pisces that asked about something. I don't, what would you guys think? I mean, this is a tarot channel. I don't want to bore you guys to tears, but we could do something with like a Knight Rider or not Knight Rider. You can't behave yourself with a Titanic little thing. Cause I've actually wrote a few books <laughs> better late than never. Jason <laughs> Ghostbusters too. All right. So, we can do something where I talk about the Titanic. I think that would actually, I'd lose subscribers, but anyway, fun fact for you guys. Titanic actually did break into three pieces and for the longest time, Really? The deck's jamming. The Knight 2000 needs a hug. All right, if you were guided to the Titanic Tarot and the Knight Industries 2000, it's time for your spinny hug. So get over here. I'm going to grip you up. I'm going to spin you around. Your heels fly off and your hair starts flying in the breeze and you start giggling. You're going to have a smile that just goes on for miles. Okay, it's going to be beautiful. You're going to feel happy. It's kind of like a Hallmark movie. Okay, side effects might might include smiling until your cheeks hurt and being really silly and giggly and just seeing everything beautiful. Okay, if the symptoms continue, come back for more hugs. Okay, <laughs> I got you totally. All right, now let's see where we were at. Let's try it again. All right. I love you. Totally. All right. Say it back. But anyways, I digress. Even at the inquiry, everybody sat there and said, nope, sank in one piece. It was the RMS Titanic. It was the great invincible ship. It sank in one piece, except for one person, Alexander Carlyle, the original designer who, who stepped down from the entire design process when they started taking lifeboats away. And he said, mm -mm, need lifeboats. So that was actually how Thomas Andrews got appointed. He was actually William Peary's nephew. All right. So Alexander Carlyle was the one and he was the one who sits there and said, if it sank, it didn't go down intact. And he was like, oh, hush your mouth. So even honorable mentions to Jack Grimm in the 1970s, many people tried to go find that thing. All right. Even Jack Grimm, it wasn't a propeller, Jack Grimm. Sorry about your luck. But um, yeah, it took Robert Ballard finding it using the thoughts of the fact that that one little thing that Alexander Carlyle said that it didn't sink intact. It's in pieces at the bottom that he knew to not look for the ship in the ocean. Because granted, it was the largest ship of the time, but it was only 882 feet long. Compared to the Atlantic Ocean, it was a toy boat, right? So from some of his work for the government, honorable mentions to the Thrasher and the Scorpion, he knew to look for the debris trail, not the ship. So the first thing he found wasn't the Titanic. It was the boiler. It was a big boiler, big Scottish boiler, right? And he knew those boilers only existed on three ships. And then he just walked it in and that's how he found it. So anyways, there is a we'll, we'll, Titanic facts at rest now for the rest of the year. Temperance, balance, Sagittarius energy. Got any more of them Sagittarius stuff? All right. This is alchemy. You were actually in a top powerful alchemy. I mean, you did actually manifest a hug. The other two decks didn't do that. So that's cool. I dig it. All right. Check this out. This here. Um, that, Actually, I think that's, that is, I think that's a baker. I think that's Charles Dalton. And he actually, he was very honest, Sagittarius Energy. Sagittarius is, they're honest, okay? Even though they like their traveling, they like going for their food, they like taking pictures. It's, it's, he was honest to a fault that he said, yeah, the way he survived the sinking of the Titanic, he got drunk. And then while everybody else was in the water suffering from hypothermia, the alcohol helped him out and he made it until he got pulled up onto a lifeboat and he survived, okay? All right, Sagittarius Energy. So you have the ability to overcome everything, I see. Powerful. Let's do it to it. What do we have for the Night Industries 2000? Let's go for it. Here we go. Thoughts, emotions. What is up with them? Let's find out what's cooking. Here we go. All right. Two shuffles, Kit. You ready? Fun fact, the whistles played the C chord. The whistles were 6, 9, and 13 feet tall on top of them big old funnels, okay? And the biggest one played C. The middle one played E. And the other one played G. It was a C chord. Okay, let's go. They actually is footage on YouTube too because they resounded them off with compressed air, which they were loud, but not near as loud as actually what they were when the steam from the boilers were pushed through those whistles. You could hear that thing for miles when it was coming into port. But I'm sure the Titanic never missed the port. The Olympic did. Okay, let's go. Two shuffles. No, the Olympic wasn't the Titanic. Stop it. <laughs> they did not switch the ships. There was no way to do that. All right, two shuffles. Here we go. One and two. Let's love this deck for the Night Industries 2000. I sense a conspiracy enthusiast in the crowd because 
A Sagittarius card, Temperance, popped out of the deck. And I know a lot of Sagittariuses. Both my grandmothers were Sagittariuses. I had a November 24th and December 20th. My childhood was never boring, right? Hi, Linus. What up, girl? Um, yeah. And actually, out of all the people I've met and talked to, I've known a lot of Sagges. They are the most common flat earthers out there. And I love hearing about that. So I dig it, okay? And I am not, I am not shutting you guys down at all, Sagittarius, okay? I totally think that's cool. I mean, they didn't see the iceberg because of the horizon and the this curve of the earth, but I still love you for it, okay? All right, so let's go. So whoever's here enjoys a little good conspiracy theory, maybe putting on your putting on your aluminum foil. It's cool, but I love it. Wear your hat, I'll wear mine. Let's see what we got for you, okay? Bottom of the deck's the Ten of Cups. It is a little bit dreamy and McSteamy energy coming in here. They're, you, you, they are dreaming about you and thinking about something very positive. They want to see this work out and come together, okay? So let's see what we got for this. Ten of Cups, Pisces energy, to the Six of Cups, Scorpio, on the Four of Pentacles, my car to the ace of pentacles they are working to manifest a new beginning with you and maybe that's what it is maybe it's the thing that everybody is saying can't be done or couldn't happen type of a thing all right and and like they're they're working to defy all odds to go against something totally different okay to make this happen with ten of cups so if you guys haven't spoken in a while which i am seeing it could be a while since you guys have spoke a while cool whip anyways i don't know we're not going there but there is a deep connection between two guys that they want to work. I love the Ace of Pentacles. You've been noticing pennies in your path more often. <clears throat> That's another Sagittarius thing. Hold on. I'm thirsty. <clears throat> there we go. Cool. I'm back. You've been noticing pennies in your path. And I'm seeing that you're, you're it was one of my Sag grandmothers. She would look and go, it'd be like, you see a penny, pick it up all day long. You'll have good luck. Maybe I'm seeing somebody that's like, well, I see him like tails up. My sad grandma would be the first one to go, it's a penny. Pick that thing up. <laughs> it's, it's that loose change that adds up to put pieces together. Let's go. Give me some seven cards on this. So speaking of seven, seven of wands. Hi, Leo. To the eight of swords. Hi, Gemini. Coming out here. Okay. To the knight of pentacles. A little slow and steady win in the race. To the moon card. Three of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Excuse me. It's two of pentacles. To the two of swords. Um, you could be born on the 22nd or the 23rd right out of the gate, and you might be noticing a lot of repeating numbers. You always look at the clock at the 22s that show up. 11.22 shows up, like everybody else is looking at 11.11, in, and uh, you're seeing 11.22. You're connected to them. Or the numbers, 122 or 221, resonate to you on this one. With the Seven of Wands, they, you shut them down, okay? And they're trying to work on this here. The Eight of Swords is Gemini energy. See how nervous she is about that gate that's in her way? But it's the ability to analyze that and realize it's not. Because if, like me, you had the blueprints to the Titanic, which I do, um, you would notice that these gates only were in the purser's office and they were only at the elevator shafts, okay? And looking at where she's at, she's not near the elevator shaft. She's near a stairwell. That's not the elevators. They only covered first and second class anyways. They didn't go past G-Deck. So this here is, is where she's at is actually an entrance between like second and third class. And being and at the time being like, I can't go in there because it's second class. They actually held firm to those policies. In reality, they were just these beautifully fine crafted barn saloon type doors that were on hinges that you could just push through and keep going. You didn't have to rip a bench out like Jack and Fabrizio did to get past this. So they've been working on it, but I see that you you you, you stopped them, right? You were like dead stop, full stop on the seven of wands. That's that's uh, quartermaster Hitchens. Telling everybody in the lifeboat to sit down, defending his six of wands victory because he made it into a lifeboat. But he he did a lot of time living with the the fact that he felt like he steered the ship into the iceberg, right? So there's a lot of overwhelming energy on their side that they feel like they're responsible for everything or taking all the responsibilities. And that you could be totally dealing with a player type energy that they dealt with in the past. With the Knight of Pentacles, you had to slow their roll a little bit to get them back into place. But the Knight of Pentacles is I don't see it as Elmer's, the slowest moving energy. I see it as the U.S. Postal Service because neither rain or sleet nor snow, the Knight of Pentacles always gets the Ace of Pentacles that's in the destination to its appointed rounds, okay? So with this moon card here, things were going great until they weren't, right? This is Titanic leaving the Thompson Graving Dock, leaving Belfast for its last time. Maybe you have a dream or a vision that you'd like to go to Ireland or see the hills of Ireland, okay? The hills are alive with the sound of music. And with the Three of Pentacles here, God kind of had to put them in check just a wee little bit. This is a lot of fine and intricate work that they've had to do on themselves to overcome this. They've had everybody else that have always, they've always been made into, into like the energetical scapegoat. Jay Bruce Ismay shows up, right? 
they had to work on a lot of stuff here. Your rhythm could be born on the 23rd, 27th, the 19th comes out with the 20th, all right? But on this here, that's Jay Bruce Ismay. That poor man, every movie depicts him wrong. I literally get upset. I actually do get a little, hmm, I lock jaw for a moment when I see how he's depicted. This man, the Titanic was his baby. His father founded the company. His father always wanted a ship named Olympic. They had an Olympic one. So he passed away, but yet Bruce Ismay helped put it together with William Perry to make the Olympic and the Titanic. It was his baby. After everything went down, he did not dress up like a girl and get in a lifeboat. He didn't cower and get in a lifeboat like you see in all the movies. It's cool, James Cameron. It's cool. A Night to Remember did it too. But yeah. This man actually, he did what the officers told him because at sea, the officers were in charge of everything, okay? So your person actually, they they felt like the best decision they had to make was to stay quiet because it came a little too overwhelming and they just kind of wished you well, sorry they had to do this and just went into another direction. J. Bruce Ismay got into that lifeboat because all the other people on the boat, the other 99% of the people started running towards the stern as it was going up in the air and Chief Officer Wild is sitting there going, we got a lifeboat, it's ready, it's going to go. They all headed for the stern because they got nervous, lost in translation, different communications. So this is that energy that like they would come at you all the time and throw multiple messages at you, word vomit messages, like like the people running to the stern of the Titanic. And you would just be like, please, please, can we just talk about this in the morning? But in this energy of the Knight of Pentacles, it was that time to reflect, to think back on it because you never go to bed angry. Never go to bed angry. When there's real love involved with the moon card, which I see there is a deep connection. You still got feelings for them too. It's cool, all right? But this is literally, there was a, there was one, there was that one worker in Ireland that got quoted in a newspaper at the time. I believe it was, I believe it was the Sphere. I think it's in like April 16th. It was, it was a really early edition of the Sphere that came out just after the sinking where he, he literally said, don't look at us. It was fine when it left here. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's that energy of, of revealing like the secrets beneath there. He got in the lifeboat because Chief Officer Wild, the officer of the ship, told him, you might as well get into the boat. He wasn't the only one. There were two men that got into that lifeboat that both testified that Chief Officer Wild told them to do it. All right? But everybody needed a scapegoat. So you're dealing with that one that was always made into the energetical scapegoat, right? Every time stuff got bad, they were the ones that were blamed. Everybody was forced to love everybody, and they never got to do things on their own. Okay? This is that energy, that, like dead silence, that follows afterwards because... For the rest of Bruce Ismay's life into the 1930s, he couldn't even speak of the Titanic because he was vilified. Yellow journalism, it existed. Fake news existed back then, too, where they wrote up every story they could to make him into the bad guy. And even on testifying on both the United States and the English side, he was vilified. So maybe you're dealing with someone that you or them were vilified in the press, all right? That, like, this is that energy that somebody couldn't keep their mouth shut. And then before you knew it, everybody knew what was going on. Everybody was involved. So you had to take a break and, and, and to, to, to like walk away from it. I'm seeing that like you possibly even had to like move, reset, a complete energetical change because of this. Because like, like everything that they put you through, it became a lot. It became too much to handle, right? The two of swords show that you'd had to trust your faith in the process, but they still see 10 cups with you, okay? Pulling a lot of Capricorn on this. Also Pisces and Cancer, Leo, Gemini. Some Taurus too, okay? Libra too. Seven of Pentacles, July 7th, 7-7 seven, seven shows up. You And 5-5. Five, five. A lot of repeating numbers. To the Emperor, to the Page of Cups, on the Chariot. Cancer Energy. There's a positive outcome. Whoa. April 11th shows up. That's Aries Energy too. And the energy that we're going through. Maybe the 10th, 11th, or 12th is a date. That means something to you guys. But look, maybe you're seeing the 7-7 seven, seven and 5-5. Five, five. Look up some of those lower numbers. Angel number 77, angel number 55, five, or we're talking to someone that does work in the portals here, or they do, all right, where you hit each one each month. It's not just the 1111 portal. We have a 44 energetical new year, the 55 five portal, 66 six portal. Each month, something happens to, to bring you guys back together in divine timing type of a thing. The five of cups to the five of wands. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad this card came out. This shows exactly what's going on, okay? Could be dealing with Cancerian, could be dealing with an Aries energy, strong Virgos here. But that chariot is positive energy moving forward to overcome this. Cancer and Leo energy. Could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Those two are never far apart, right? Nope, exactly. They not? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> cancer Leo energy, heavy duty on this one right now. Okay. Along with the Sagittarius. Whoa. Strength card to the Queen of Cups. Big time Cancer and Leo energy on this. Whoa. And the Four of Wands. The Twin Flame comes back with the Knight of Cups. There was only one African-American couple on that ship third class they survived 
You guys are actually healing each other. There's unconditional love between the two of you guys. They think you've forgotten, but you're hanging true and tall. This here is second class passenger. I think her name was Juliana. I got to double check, but she had a child on board who kept that teddy bear close. I've seen a Winnie the Pooh bear doll that shows up. I might even tie to Scorpio's energy about, about that. But with that four of wands, there is a connection. The four of wands came out over here too. All the readings might tie together. But the five of wands, this actually, if you look down here, that's right, Bridget. Her name was Bridget. All right. She was a passenger from Ireland. Okay. Bridget McDermott. There it is. Yeah. Bridget McDermott. She was a Pisces. Okay. Um, but yeah, she actually boarded this lifeboat. But before she boarded the lifeboat, she was leaving Ireland to visit family in, uh, gosh, I think it was Missouri. I think it's Missouri. Anyhow, irrelevant. Or Missouri resonates to somebody. Okay. But so on her way to the docks in, in to, to get on board Titanic, she passed by a seer, a wanderer. Gave him a few coins, a few pentacles for a little prediction of the future. Maybe you or them are getting into tarot. Maybe they're checking out tarot on you or you're, well, oh, you, yeah. Okay, you're here watching tarot on them. <laughs> cool. Anyways, anyways, meanwhile, back at your reading. So she paid, Bridget paid this seer in, in Southampton a few pentacles. And he, she, she didn't give him any backstory. She stayed dead, dead face. Didn't say anything. He says, I see you're going on a journey. Um, there's going to be a great tragedy on this journey, but you'll survive. You'll be okay. And she's like, wow, that really made me feel really good. And she went and got on board the Titanic. <laughs> but at the time, it was just another people mover. It hadn't become the Titanic. All right. So you're seeing something in the future with them that you might be fearing the worst, fearing the tragedy, or they're feeling it with you like you've forgotten about them. You don't even remember them. Or they did something that like they feel like they might have hurt you. They're really worried they hurt you about something really small. Something here, that strength card that wipes the energy away or something, the seven of pentacles that like that maybe they just got nervous about something and, and they're like, oh my gosh, I made, I made Kit feel really bad. But on the five of wands to the five of cups. So Bridget McDermott wound up in this lifeboat on the five of wands. Okay. This is Leo energy that, that strifes and the struggles and, and the ability to overcome those strifes and struggles, the standard definition of the card so that you guys can work together. Teamwork, making the dream work, but dreams don't work unless you do. So you're seeing them with the dreams. But on this five of wands, Bridget McDermott, as lifeboat number 13 was being lowered down, the, the ropes got stuck. They got tangled up in the pulleys and the boat got stuck. So while they were trying to free it, needing a knife, Crocodile Dundee style, interesting, he was on board the ship. But yeah, it's she actually, she looked and she approached the lifeboat and the officer told her, if you can, if you can slide down that rope, you can get in that lifeboat. And it was already about 30 feet down from the boat deck at that point. She was 28 years old and she did it. In, in the 1912 clothing that you've seen in the movie, that stuff was like layers deep with a life jacket on full of cork. She hopped off the boat deck and that thing was 75 feet above the water. And at that point in the night, it was pitch black. So this is that leap of faith that you have had to overcome a lot of stuff that they see it. They respect you a lot for what you've been through. And she made it 20 years old, slid down the rope into the lifeboat and she survived the tragedy that the seer saw. So they maybe they've gotten those tarot readings on you with the five of cups to overcome it and miss the boat. They do want stuff to work out with you, but it's like like they're not saying anything because they feel like they did something wrong to you and they feel really bad. But the outcome on this, if, if one y'all reach out, is actually the chariot to the strength card. That's Bridget McDermott showing up in the lifeboat. And she wound up in the end that she she kept the child covered. There was like an orphan child. Maybe you or them have like children that are like like the like adopted orphans, uh, the cousins or the the stepchildren, something like that. But so she she comforted this child she didn't know in the lifeboat that night until they made it to the Carpathia. All right, that's showing them with with her little poodle. But that's actually that's actually a little lion too. That's that ability that she did to overcome it. So in the outcome on this one here. A little bit of outcome goes a long way that they are still open to talking to you. They would like to make this work. They actually, with that eight of swords, feel like maybe something they did was a little too overwhelming, right? And like they feel bad about it. Like, oh, I wish I just left that text. I shouldn't have deleted it. Or I shouldn't have said so much. I should have just let Kit sleep in the evening. You know, that power down energy to rest, rejuvenate, and recharge. But with that four of wands, that's a rebirth in the energies. That deep soulmate twin flame connection has been coming across here, okay? It's almost like a deep soulmate reading across the board. And with this energy here, I see that they've, they've been wanting to write you or they've got, there's a notebook involved or something that, that you guys have. Thomas Andrews had notebooks that bettered everything in the energies here, okay? And it's that ability to work with God, to pray into spirit, to manifest what you're looking for, what you're dreaming of, and to, to rise above those temptations when feeling tempted in those times of need, times of trouble. 
and to work through it and to overcome the energies, much like clearing Bruce Ismay's name. All right. And ironically enough, he survived the same timeline as RMS Olympic. It survived all the way through, right? This is a connection that can go the distance. Because when you think about it, you, Kit, and the one on your mind, it's it's the story of Greek tragedies. Greek mythology comes in. Because out of those three ships, Olympic, Titanic, and Britannic, original name was Gigantic. Mm -hmm. um, after the Titanic went down, they rethunked that one for a minute, right? But that's that ability that it's, it's almost like a grand scale, third time's the charm on this one here. And that the one on your mind, you guys went through a lot of stuff. The Olympic was named for the Olympians, the triumphant gods in Greek mythology, right? The Titanic was named after the Titans. Maybe they should have read the book the whole way through. <laughs> and then the, the giants, the Britannic, that was the one that sided with the Titans. They, they took the wrong side on this one, all right? And in the end, Titanic, it went to the bottom. Britannic also went to the bottom, like the Lusitania. It was a hospital ship. Maybe you're a nurse, or you wanted to be a nurse, or they wanted to be a nurse. Something about that healing energy comes out for the two of you guys to work together on this. And to actually, like, this is coming together and letting them know it's okay. I know what you've been through, and we can work on this together to manifest. Cancer, Leo energy, Pisces and Sagittarius show up too, along with Taurus big time. Strong Taurus could be born on the 12th, the 2nd, the 3rd and the 30th show up, as well as the 11th and the 17th, okay? But yeah, that's that ability to overcome it and to, to write it out. Bruce Ismay survived just as long as the Olympic. He saw his dad's dream to the end. And it wasn't until the Olympic went off to the breakers in Jarrow in 1937 for the end. Of, it was retirement. It was the gold watch. Hey, little Willow. What's up? Hey, Susan. It was that moment that 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 Bruce did the same thing. Went off to his retirement and his great award. All right. So it's that ability to rise above the energies. And, and you guys kind of follow a little bit of the Greek tragedies of, of life in that one. And there is manifestation to come together on it so the teamwork can make the dream work. Strong Cancer and Leo Energy. Big time on this one. All right. So that's that's a lot. That's a lot. That Seven of Pentacles. They miss you a lot. And that little bit of that dreaminess that comes out of it. I'm hearing about the, what about the Olympic and the Titanic being switched? Because like, you know how many people come out, especially when I'm doing personal readings or I'm at meet and greets or I'm at events. And, and they're like, I love how you talk about the Titanic. I think I was on the Titanic in a former life. And I'm like, why? Maybe you guys like questioning each other. There's a little bit of something different that you guys ask for their questions to go further into that. It's it, you guys know prayer's a weapon, right? It's that ability, that, like that. It's like, well, me personally, I wouldn't want to be on the Titanic. No offense. I mean, because we know the ending. It's like it's like when you it's like when I went with friends to the movies to see it back, you know. And uh, I'm like, they're all like, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio could be so awesome. And I'm like, if you guys opened a history book, do you know what happens at the end of this? You're not going to be happy, <laughs> right? I would want to be on the Olympic in the roaring 2020s during that Gatsby era when they painted the staircase green and it looked good, right? That that would be the fun time when you're hanging out with Charlie Chaplin and all of them, a lot of the social elites of the 20s. But knowing what's coming down the road, that when you're on this peak, that something has to slow, stop the world. And then after that, you have a little bit of war. Then you have a little bit of Great Depression. It's like the 1920s coming back around. That sort of a thing. But riding out with the great Gatsby old sport and knowing where you're going with it. And it's fun to go into these energies and to, to enjoy a good conspiracy every now and then, all right? Was it really the Olympic or the Titanic they swapped? But when you find out that every single handmade part on those boats had a VIN number stamped on the back of it, it wasn't just swapping the names. You literally would have to completely rebuild the ships, and they were not the same. There were a lot of different things on. The Titanic had been improved from the Olympic. So regardless, it's always cool to take a break, much like when we have a musical break. And um, yeah. And understand that it's still ship 401 at the bottom. Ship 400 went off to the breakers. And ship 433 is hanging out in the Mediterranean. Okay. But you guys have a very deep connection. It's, it's like it's like how James Cameron described the movie. Y'all are Romeo and Juliet on the Titanic. But let's put you guys on the Olympic. So you guys can actually enjoy yourselves. Just have some fun. Because you do love each other. And you guys both have your own little intricate ways of doing things. Which I adore. Very nice. Oh. I hope that helps. Appreciate you, Kit. You got me talking. This deck always gets me going. All right. Love you very much. Thank you for being here. All right. Guys, we made it. Sorry if I bored you all to tears on that one. <laughs> I promised to put this deck away for a while. <laughs> all right. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you very much. Hope it resonated. I hope it helped. All right. I hope it made sense because it didn't to me. <laughs> I was just here on autopilot. All right. So. Thank you all very much for coming. Make sure you come back Thursday night at 7.30 for the all signs. Appreciate you all. Say hi. Love that like. 
share the channel, subscribe, of course, help the familia to grow. All right, let's just make it crowded, right? We just want to see the happiness, all right? And remember, this will resonate to any all placements within your chart. If, you, if, if you've got a Venus in Batmobile, if you've got a Jupiter in White Jeep, or you just got a Sun in Kit, just watch the red light. <laughs> all right? So, yeah, don't forget, Thursday night, me and Chloe at Sagittarius Soltero, we will be here. We will be live. And there's still time to enter to win these four prizes over there. Everything's all described over at the most recent All Signs. I even showed you everything that's in the, in there, too. All right? And check out the community post, because like I was mentioning, um, if you want to come and hang out, we got we to gotta be cool. We're going to learn some stuff at the Downtown Terra Company tomorrow evening, 6 to 8 p.m. I'm not going on. I'm just coming to hang out. All right? Just, I'm just being Archer. It's cool. All right? And then um, Friday, take a little moment. Take a break. Follow Caitlin Petty over on her TikTok. She's going to broadcast live from Arista in Nashville. I probably said that wrong. I don't pronounce it good. My English is bad, but it's okay. I speak tarot fluently <laughs> and I speak love fluently. So that's what matters. But follow her. Enjoy a little musical break because I, I, I sang along with every song while I was sitting there in the store. I'm sure the people that own the store were like, what in the world? <laughs> but it was fun and I loved it. All right. So as I was saying, it'll resonate to any now placements. And thank you very much for being here with me. Let me take time to read for you and your love and your energy and just get totally snoopy and see what was up. All right. And God, thank you very much for the messages. Uh, we are always truly grateful for, for everything that you do for us. Okay. Always appreciative. And we always say thank you. All right. So until next time, thank you all very much for coming. Thank you to my awesome mod squad. I appreciate you guys. You're OGs. All right. You got, you got the mod with the wrench right here. All right. So, I'll see you guys later. All right? Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Check out the playlist. There's all videos all over the place. I promise. All right. I love you guys. I will see you in Instagram. Thank you so much for coming. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok too. All right? TikTok, TikTok. Let's go. It's the clock.